Hey everyone, it's James Frederick. I'm an artist living here in Provincetown. And I had the opportunity this spring, late spring, to stay in a dune shack here on Provincetown's back shore in the Cape Cod National Seashore. And it was amazing and life-changing. And um, I don't have enough time on this video to tell you about all of the awarenesses and self-knowledge that I um, found there. So to disconnect from the internet and from the world and just focus on painting and being, all I did was create and eat and walk and read. <laughs> um, and it was amazing. So there's no electric out there and there's no running water and it's very primitive and um, it was just so good. I, you know, I took a bunch of photos. I had my, my phone in airplane mode and I took a bunch of photos. So I knew that I would paint while I was there, but I also knew that I wouldn't be able to accomplish enough to be able to put together um, a full presentation of my stay. And so I took a ton of photos and then I worked from those. And working from those all summer um, on the remainder of these pieces, just kind of re, I revisited that stay like each time and because I'm not normally painting with watercolor. Um, and so just picking up that medium reminds me of that stay, which was great. And, um, you know, I was um, not painting with watercolor for years. So this work was a bit experimental in the beginning. Um, it was a little loose and a little wild. And then um, as I kind of got my sea legs, if you will, with the watercolor, um, I started to have a blast. So uh, there's a lot of joy I feel in these pieces and I hope that you can see that. Um, the show's called Shacked Up, if I didn't mention that. And I'm gonna take you through these like I normally do, one piece at a time. And um, that's it. All right, I'm gonna take you through these pieces and there's a number to go through, but um, I just wanted to mention that the camera is automatically like changing the temperature um, of these so um, you'll be able to see better images of these uh, on my website so i'm going to try to take you through without it distorting but it does um, in some cases go a little yellow um, so the show is called Shacked Up, and there's a number of pieces. This one is 7x10. Um, it's watercolor and framed in this. All of these are framed in these archival mats um, with uh, UV-protected acrylic, and uh, they should last quite a while. So um, this piece is 7x, I'm sorry, 7x9, and it's called Sun Awning, and um, it's a view of the shack that I stayed in. So it's a larger shack as far as the shacks go out there in the National Seashore and um, uh, still very primitive. There is an LP tank that powers a refrigerator, which is good. And um, again, no running water, no electricity. So there is a small upstairs bedroom and there's this deck and we put a little temporary awning up. So it's called Sun Awning. This piece is called Wall Star and it's because there's a little uh, kind of petrified starfish that's nailed to the wall um, as you approach the entrance and it's uh, five by five. And this piece is called Shack Finch and it's five by five. I love how this one came out. There were these little house finches that were singing um, delightful little melodies like every morning as we had our coffee on the deck. So um, this little guy just perched himself on this post and it's a great reminder of kind of the 
a week. This piece is called Around the Shack and it is larger, it's 12 by 16. Um, and it's the back side of the shack, kind of looking towards the sea, um, which is on the other side of that taller dune. Let's see, the color is shifting, so I apologize for that. Um, there's also a reflective quality to the acrylic, so you'll get to see my silhouette uh, here and there. So yeah, see, these aren't as yellow as they came out um, in the close-ups, so. Anyway, this piece is called Good Morning, and this is a view from that little deck uh, looking at uh, the sunrise over the dunes, which was a lovely way to start the day. And it's seven by 10. This piece I call Dune Colors, and it's a little more abstracted. I was having some fun experimenting with that approach and um, it's called Dune Colors at 7 by 10 and this guy is called Basking Shell so there's just these random seashells in the middle of the dunes and I think it's because the birds like collect them and then drop them to try to release the the clams or scallops or whatever might be like food inside of these. I mean, I don't know, it's a guess, but there were a lot of little shells, even though we weren't right on the water. Um, That's called basking shell. And this piece is called back shore. So if you walk to the top of that dune in the earlier painting um, and look over, you see the Atlantic. Um, so it's very close and um, we could be actually hear it one day when it was really windy and there was quite a surf out there and you could hear it even from the shack, which was really lovely. So this one is 12 by 12. And then this one is called Silver Skies and this piece is 7 by 10. And we did have some storms kind of roll in. There was a little bit of rain, not much, a ton of wind. Um, but this piece I love. I feel like it's very successful. It's called Silver Skies. And I'm gonna take you over to this other remaining small piece. All of these small ones were five by five. This one is called Rosa and there's a ton of um, beach rose or Rosa rugosa, 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 <laughs> Rosa is what I call this piece, and it is um, five by five. This is a piece called the sunsets, and um, it's kind of blowing out a little because of the lighting, but it's this beautiful sunset over the dune at the end of a long day of just being. So that one's called The Sun Sets. This piece is called um, Blue Skies and it's one of the first pieces I painted. Um, from the deck of the shack and you can see the the kind of road or the worn pathway of the vehicle that brings you out there and this piece is called dry and I was kind of mesmerized by this little towel that we hung out on the clothesline and it just flapped in the wind and I could watch it for hours. Um, dry, it's seven by 10, as was the prior one. And this piece is a large one, it's 12 by 16. And I call this Spring Tide because the blooming Rosa Ragosa was like 
It felt like a tide of color coming across the dunes. So it's called spring tide. And this piece is also seven by 10 and it's called From Here to There. And it's the dune on the backside of the shack, a um, small dune that you climb up over and then there's like a little bowl of sand. Um, and it was kind of a nice warming spot when it was a little too chilly because um, there was a bit of a microclimate happening there. So it's called From Here to there, seven by 10. So that is shacked up. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed working on these pieces. And I want you to know that like usual, you can click to more information here in the description um, and get details about any of these pieces. Uh, you'll be able to see a color corrected version so that you're not dealing with the temperature shift that you've been seeing during this presentation. Um, but before I go, I just wanted to say another word about staying at the dune shack because um, what happened since I had my phone in airplane mode um, and I was taking photos, I realized that I spend way too much time on my phone and every time I had my phone in my hand, I automatically went to open other apps like Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or like whatever, the weather and and um, it was so eye-opening. And so what happened is um, when I came back, I turned off all my notifications. And that's not just like the audio notification or the banner or the little badge, the little red dot. I don't have any of that turned on. And it's just been amazing because I can focus again. You know, like if you need to get a hold of me, you can call. And that's the only thing that will come through. And I just highly recommend it for everyone, except for notifications from me about my work, of course. But it was life-changing and I feel like I've gained so much time and that I can actually focus. And there's a bit of calm because everything doesn't feel like it's at that urgent tempo. And um, anyway, it just was one of the reasons why this visit, this stay in the shack has been uh, life-changing for me because I still have not turned on my notifications and it's September and it's working out really well. Um, in October, on October 6th, I will be bringing you a show that I'm calling Sea and Sky and it's a bunch of uh, acrylic on canvas seascapes that you know me for and I'm excited to bring those to you in five weeks and then in November will be the show I've been talking about all season called The City, which is my impressions of New York City. So again, James Frederick, thank you for joining in and I will see you in five weeks.